Marty, um, you'll have to forgive me. This is my very, very first time, so I will come across nervous. Um, I was told the best way to overcome nervousness is to imagine people naked, which um, didn't go down very well in my last gig because I was working in an old people's home. Um, just to tell you a bit about myself, um, I used to be a Milton Keynes resident, but I've now moved to Bedford. Um, but I did spend most of my time wondering why there's so many roundabouts in Milton Keynes. And I've now discovered it's to make, give tourists enough time to get out. Right, um... <laughs> Right, and another little something about myself, um, I'm actually bisexual, um, which most people come across and they say I'm greedy, but I'm actually not, I'm just an equal opportunity poor. Um, and I, I hear you guys have got a great gay scene in Pink Hunters, is it called? And I must say, it is a coincidence, Brian, to see you here twice in one weekend. <laughs> Okay, um, another thing is, you may have noticed I've got a slight northern accent. Um, I was actually born in Durham, um, but all of my family are Geordies. And um, one of the most annoying things is when people find out where you're from, they do the accent thing and they say a very common phrase in that accent, usually very badly. Like um, when I tell people my family is from Newcastle, they always go, oh, I am, man. And um, one of my friends, he's a cockney, and they always go, oh yeah, apples and pears, governor. And um, one of my other friends, he's Welsh, and the most common phrase around there is, meh. <laughs> now, um, my, um, my boyfriend, he is so, so good to me. He really does treat me like a princess. And the other week he took me on holiday to France. But I really, really wish he hadn't crashed under that tunnel. I will never forgive him, the drunken twat. I should have drove. Right, and I'm a big, big animal lover. That doesn't mean I'm into bestiality. It just means I love animals. And um, somebody came up to me once and said, how can you tell if the collar is on a dog too tight? And I didn't actually know the answer. So I thought I'd try it with the family dog. But when my sister's lips start turning blue, I realized I had it on too tight. Um, I also suffer from depression. Um, my GP said that, um, I should do this gig because, uh, you know, laughter is the best medicine. But I don't actually agree with that. I find the best medicine for depression is cheesecake, Rihicnol and Ashley Cole. But unfortunately, the injunction order now prevents me from doing that. Um, I've had people come up to me before um, because of my size asking when I'm due. And I can tell you the only person responsible for this stomach is Mr. Kipling. He does make exceedingly good dates. Now, I am attracted to the older man, and I do find older men with children very, very sexy. Unfortunately for my friend, he tried that and he just got a restraining order. And um, the one more thing I will say tonight is I don't actually work. I'm actually on benefits. <laughs> so I just wanted to say thank you to everyone for making sure I live in a really, really nice flat. <laughs> and I best go now before I get lynched. <laughs> so thank you very much. You have been wonderful to me. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your evening.